chest and pretty much triceps and delts done. We're gonna do more of uh, tricep, pu tricep push down now. And get them triceps in. So bad, man. Now, when you're so used to gym for five days a week, six days a week, and you stop coming and you come up for so long, your body's shattered, but it feels so good at the same time. So, yeah, now we're off to Abu Dhabi. Tobed up for today. Gotta to look, you know, pious. I mean, just, that sounded really wrong. I gotta look modest, that's a better word, uh, because I can't be rolling around in shorts inside a mosque. So, yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable. Well, yeah, guys, had to get the G Wagon. There's so many different cars out there that I could get, but here in Dubai, the left hand drive is actually really, really confusing sometimes for me. Especially due to the fact that this is the first time I'm actually driving a left-hand drive car. So I'm with a friend. What's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed, where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay, inshallah. You're in the vlog, okay? Yes. Yeah? yeah. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? How old? Age? What's your name? <laughs> Sarah. Yeah. Oh, Lara. That's Zara, that's my sister, her name is Zara. <laughs> How old are you? Ten. Ah, what about her? Seven. Seven. Alright, mashallah. Nice to meet you guys. So we're at the Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi. As far as I know, last time I came, they told me that these leaves at the top are all gold. I'm not sure if it's 18 karat or 24 karat, but something related to gold. And I'm pretty sure it is gold. Uh, so, yeah, that's a quick tip if you guys didn't know. Brother, is that real gold? It's not real gold, just decoration. Color. Just color, no gold. So security confirmed it with me that it's not actual real gold. So I am wrong guys. Once again, fake information, false information. Coming to you from Fort Ed. It's so... It's not clean to be honest. Like, I would expect this place to be more clean. Like, everywhere I see, like on the floor, it's pretty dirty. Maybe it's because white. Also, last time I came, those outside, the towels, were actually really clean. They're actually gleaming white, but this time round, they're actually going brown. So yeah. And also, a tip for that we should put AC, aircon inside these walking spaces. Like, come on, you need guests to have a really good experience. So you should, you know, have aircon. It's not going to cost you a lot. So yeah, they did a good job of colour scheming things. I want to take off my socks and get inside. Nearly splashed on my face, but yeah, water key in life, guys. Be hydrated, you know, key to life. There's no words to actually describe the feeling of not visiting this mosque, but actually having AC coming inside the AC just gives you life. Where you can't enjoy this thing with that AC. So these guys have a mosque and you're not apparently even allowed to sit down inside the mosque. Which is 
most cases so I'm trying to control myself so I would I'll have to walk down this as you can see this path and you come down and then you let back and you have to go This pose looks like the pose that Rihanna did when she came here. I'm not sure how she managed to get away with doing that. No haram stuff here guys. Can't be kissing and hugging people. So yeah, keep it halal when you come here. You're not allowed to hug people, you're not allowed to do any type of haram. Tips for anyone planning to visit here. Boss, is this hand woven? This carpet? Yes. It is, isn't it? Where is it from? Iran. Iran? One yeah. piece. 1,200 ladies working by hand 1,200? Two, two years? There's yes. one piece? Yes He make it nine piece, he bring it inside, he finishing Yeah Finishing the work inside It's crazy isn't it? Oh. Well, apparently the main reason the brother told us The reason they have such restricted access is because of the fact that People, Chinese people come here and play with the Quran And because of that they restricted it fully People are looking at it and touching the Quran and all that stuff So initially I thought they're making it restricted for no reason, but there is a reason, guys, and that is the reason. And the brother here he just told us why they restricted the whole place. Makes sense. They are at this shopping mall, which is the Yas Island shop, shopping mall. Yas shopping mall. It's so spacious, like compared to Dubai, where everything's so cramped. This place has so much, like. Light whiteness. Spider kid in the making. I just don't have energy, man. This heat is way too much to handle. I told you, it is terribly bad. I'm never gonna come back to Dubai or Abu Dhabi in this weather. Like that is one thing I'm not gonna do. This ice cream, guys. Oh, no, it's, cream. it's not five dirhams, it's not ten dirhams. It's one dirham, and that is 25p, pretty much. From Burger King in London, I don't know why they don't do it for 25p. I don't think they even do it at all. But yeah, looks like the ones that you get in the ice cream van. To be honest, it actually tastes pretty good. So if you come to London, I mean, if you come to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, make sure to get your one dirham ice cream from. Burger King Full tank here is roughly about 125 dirhams Which is actually pretty mad because it, Full tank in London, it cost me about 150 pounds If only I could get like 10 barrels and take it back home Girls, you need fake eyelashes. You need some of this stuff, man. It'll be really good. Right, brother? Don't worry, I'm not gonna take it. People are gonna steal those. <laughs> brother, Huda Beauty, how much is it? Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. How much is it? That is really expensive in London. How much is it? Yeah, 100 100 dirhams, so that's about uh, 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Original. Number one. Number one quality. Huh? Guys, you yes. know, if you want Huda Beauty, come to Ninth Market. What's your name, brother? The Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream, Ben and Jerry ice cream. Before ice cream, before the shop ice cream. Ah, that's before. why. It's got, it's got ah, ice that's why. We're coming to Ben and Jerry, guys, and you can buy Huda Beauty for £25. In London, it's £60. It's yeah. around what? It's around 1,000 dirhams. Yes, yes. Beauty makeup palette, as you can see. Get it from bro, what's your name? Mohammed Shafi. Mohammed Shafi. Get it from Mohammed Shafi, guys. I'm telling you, he's the best. So I asked for this for how much is price of this was. My man here, he said 30. 
So I'm gonna stick with 30, and apparently you said you meant one 30, but all I heard was 30. So I'm gonna stick to 30, try to get this for 30 dirhams. <laughs> for me for 30, yeah? 30 dirhams, you said 30. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna let me have it for 30? Yeah? That's 100. You said 30, man. <laughs> I was expecting a good price. Good, uh, good price. Look, it looks like my toe. Can you see? Okay, no problem. Thirty dirhams, yeah. Picture. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> you should model for me. I want to see you on you. Oh. So, Mane. They're making this in England. These oh, yeah, ones. This is brown. Is. Yes, I. This I'm is amazed, there. guys. This, these apparently they're making shema. In England, bro, what's your name? Khalid. Khalid. Oh, Matthew is from England. Ah, <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> he's giving me wrong information. This is material, this is in Shemagh's cream color. I was gonna say it because there's ones. no factories in England that actually makes these. Yes. That's what I'm surprised. Yeah, just came into the room. I have to say, this hotel is probably the king of wasting electricity. Every time we come, I don't know how, but this is always open. This is always on. And it's on full blast music, and they're just playing it for what I don't even know what reason they actually leave it on. It's madness. Like every time I come, AC is on full blast. Even if I turn it off before I go, they have it on full blast. What is this? Oh, this is the menu for t yeah, tomorrow or whatever. But it's madness. The Ritz, man, you guys are too. I don't know what the word. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go out now. Have shisha for a bit, and then get off to some sleep. And possibly we're gonna go wild wadi. How you say it tomorrow? Um, yeah, even though the sun is really bad, I don't know if I'm actually going proper. Let's see.